So in this lesson, I will talk about the self-stabilizing mutual exclusion algorithm which was introduced by Dijkstra in 74. Okay. So before describing Dijkstra's solution, I will first present the problem. So you have a collection of processes, P0 to Pn-1, and you assume that each processor can hold a token or not. And the goal is to have a unique token in the system at every step, and that this token visits each processor infinitely often. In Dijkstra's solution, there are specific assumptions. First, the processor are organized in a ring, and each processor can read the states of its neighbors, and each processor can be activated, and when it is activated, then the processor reads the states of its neighbors, and performs a local update of its state according to the, the algorithm it runs. And we assume that each processor is activated infinitely often. Now I will describe uh, the Dijkstra's algorithm. So you have n processes, p0 to pn-1, and the state of processor pi is a natural number xi, and the state of the processor pi is a natural number ranging from 0 to n. So note that this is n and not n minus 1, so that the xi can take n plus 1 different values. Now, the actual algorithm is pretty simple. There is a distinguished processor, say p0, and when p0 is activated, it performs the following update. If the state of processor pn minus 1 is equal to the state of p0, then p0 increments its state modulo n plus 1. Otherwise, it does nothing, it keeps its state. If pi is different than p0, when pi is activated, it performs the following function. It compares its state with its previous neighbor. But here, it is if xi minus 1 is different than xi, then pi simply copies the state of its previous neighbor, and otherwise it does nothing. So we have now to define what it means for a processor to hold a token. We say that p0 holds a token when the condition in its rule is enabled, is when xn minus 1 is equal to x0. Similarly, pi with i different than 0 holds a token when the condition is enabled, that is, when xi minus 1 is equal to xi. So this is uh, the mutual exclusion algorithm of Dijkstra, and uh, we can prove that it is self-stabilizing. It means that starting from an arbitrary configuration, eventually we will reach a configuration with a unique token, and this token will visit every node in the system infinitely often. You can refer to another uh, lesson for the actual proof of this claim.